Jeff, have uh, you ever scored a better goal than that? Um, no, I think that's <laughs> probably the best goal I scored. You know, um, we were speaking today, me and Calvin Miller, about the goal I scored against Southend last year. A um, bit of a half volley, and I think the half volley is not a little bit of luck. That today is technique and, and work on the training ground. People will laugh and, and say, was it a cross and was it that? But uh, it's something I work at, try and use both feet, and um, I'm happy I got a reward today. Brilliant. I mean, a sensational game overall as well. I mean, just talk us through it. You know, um, first 25 minutes, I thought we could have been, the game could have been done in respect to South End, and, and that's no disrespect uh, at all, by the way. I just thought uh, the quality and the enthusiasm we brought, the chances we created, we could have been two or three up. We weren't. Um, and fair play to them to come back in the game and uh, stuff went against us. I don't know whether it's red card or not. And then second half to come out and concede that early. You know, I, I don't think people understand how hard it is to come back from that just to get a draw, especially with ten men, uh, to go on and win the game. I think is a massive credit to the, to the team. And I'm quickly obviously getting the um, frustration really for the minute into the second half, obviously conceding, but. You know, to get two goals in seven minutes, the momentum then shifted towards you, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's. I think it, it takes something like Quigley's hard work. You know, um, that goal come from nothing. Um, we wasn't in control of the game. We had nothing going for us. He takes the ball off the defender, takes two or three on, and puts it in the bottom corner. Um, and something like that would change the game. Big tackle here, gets the crowd on our side again, gets us going, and then you know the goal. Uh, and then from there, I could never see us conceding. And we look comfortable in the game, even with ten men. Um, let's talk about the red card. What, what did you see? Um, from my angle, you know, I, I couldn't see much. Um, I thought it was a foul. To be honest, I don't know that it was a red, but you know, when when the ref played on, I, I thought that was it. Then uh, I sort of just went to play a normal game and expected the ball to come out to me. And, and I heard a few boos, looked up, and Banks was walking up the pitch. And um, it's hard when you lose a key player like that. Um, but you know, we, lucky enough, we got through to half time and you know, went on won the game. Oh, so the, what was the message at half time? Obviously not to concede straight away, but I mean, what was the what was the gaffer saying? No, gaffer says first twenty five minutes is probably one of the best starts he's ever had from one of his teams, which is a, was a big compl big compliment to us. But uh, the other twenty was probably one of the worst he's had from one of his teams in in, in the nicest possible way of saying it. Um, just that you know, stay in the game and we will get chances because the quality we've got. And you know, I, I think in the end we could have won four or five too. I know Lucas has made a good save at the end, but uh, we had a couple of chances ourselves. There was two big moments and you just touched on one there about Lucas's Covelland's save in the 93rd minute or whatever it was I mean it was a stunner yeah yeah you know um, that's that's the work that he puts in the training ground you know he's, he's always first there as a keeper and he always seems to be one of the last off as well uh, with the other keepers to be fair and Bucky um, and they're the rewards he gets you know he's a, he's a great keeper and um, we know what he brings to the team but them, them saves um, are as good as a goal how did you feel about that challenge on you down at the near touch line here um, at the time, I thought he's tried to do me. To be honest, um, I'd have to see it again. But I think I think the fourth official had control of the game a lot more than than he should have. I think it was his decision to only give the booking, um, which shouldn't which shouldn't be right. But um, I'll have to see it again. Uh, if it should have been a red, then I'll be disappointed. But you know, uh, all everything happens for a reason. And then I got back on and scored the goal. So <laughs> well, that's it. And you've uh, also on a slightly sour note as well. You picked up a fourth booking as well. What was that for? Yeah, you know, that was again. Mm. Um, I asked, obviously you've seen what happened and nothing, there was nothing really going on around it and the refs also went to play on I think the fourth told him in his ear, no that's a yellow mm. and that's what I'm trying to get at um, that I think he had control of some of the stuff that was going on on, on the pitch, I don't know how um, but for some for some reason I got a yellow, I'm disappointed that it's my fourth one because obviously I'm um, on thin ice now but uh, I've got to try and stay disciplined and, and you know keep going the goal of the season though, I mean there's plenty more to come from you isn't there? Yeah, yeah I've always um, looked at my stats, you know, goals, assists, um, as well as how well the team are doing but to have three goals this early in the season from the position of play I think is um, a reward for hard work that, that I put in um, but there's still areas that I need to work on uh, defensively I know I do uh, and maybe when I'm in the final third but um, I'm happy tonight that, that we went and won the game and like I said to uh, uh, the lads up there, I, I got a lot of credit for the goal, you know, the lads are buzzing around me, but I think, you know, the lads in general just deserve a massive, you know, round of applause because the work rate, uh, like Mandeville in front of me, you can't, you can't buy that work rate, that, that's just either in you or it's not, and um, it's a pleasure to have him in front of me. Still top of the league though, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, they, <laughs> it's funny when you're in the game and you can hear we're top of the league and then you hear them singing, you're not top of the league, <laughs> and then, um, you know, it always keeps us in, in a, intact the way we are, you know, when all other results are going, but it's early in the season I think me interview I had three or four weeks ago I said there's still a long way to go this is another step in the right direction we need to keep winning games and let's hope we do thanks Jeff brilliant thank you